So, good news everybody, today's tutorial is going to be very simple because we're going over weapons and armors. As you can see, we're in the weapons tab right now, and we're going to go create a new weapon right now to be given to our protagonist. So let's create a new weapon called Kane, or oh, is Kane, um, gun. We'll give it an icon of a gun icon, as you can find right here. We can go to our description and we'll say, this is a shooting weapon. Be careful with it, because you got to be careful with guns, you know. Anyway, enough messing around. Let's go through what each and all of these little things we can do with ours, our whatever, etc. Weapon type. You can define all different weapon types in the system tab, or actually types tab, I believe. And then in here, you can make sure there's different weapon types. And of course, each type is going to have different effects, such as some types might give you special ability to use certain skills, other types may give you certain benefits for being a certain actor, all these crazy stuffs. For the time being, just set certain basic groups you can input each weapon into. For example, our gun is going to go into the gun weapon type, believe it or not. Furthermore, you can also set a price. As you can probably guess, this is what's going to be used to sell it in the shop. We'll set the 400. The animation. We'll say the animation when used is going to be a piercing effect, so we'll do pierce effect. And now here comes the parameter changes. Now these are going to be the stat changes that occur when an actor equips this gun. So when the actor equips the gun, it means they gain 20 attack, but they say lose about 10 luck. So negative 10 luck for that, but plus 20 attack for that. And that's really all I have to do. You can use these to manipulate if you're going to gain defense, magic attack, lose agility, lose max HP, etc, etc. Once again, the armor is going to be very similar. Let's create new armor right now and go do that. So let's first find an icon this time so we can get some ideas. So let's find a... Uh, a wrench. Yes, a wrench is going to be one of our little armors we can equip. So wrench, description, place in bag for better defense. As you see right there, we'll set it to an armor type. Once again, these can all be defined within the types thing right there. So we'll set it to light armor. The equipment type, we can set the shield head, body, or accessory. It's going to be an accessory. Next, we'll set the price to make so whatever it's going to be sold in shops for. So 30 gold. The parameter changes for what the parameters are going to be changed to when an actor equips this weapon, item, armor. So we'll set it so the defense gets 100. 100 more defense when we're equipping the wrench. And that's really all there is for weapons and armors. Let's actually go back to our map and make sure this person right here gives us our wrench and our, what it was, gun. So all I do is go here, go into the events, change weapons or change armors to give weapons or armors. So we'll change weapons, we'll increase our gun by one, hit OK, and that'll be good to go. We'll go in here, we'll change armors, we're going to set it so we have a wrench, increased by one, and add it into our equipment. And that should be good to go. Let's also add a dialogue that says... Gained a gun and wrench. Yeah. Now, once we go into the game, we'll talk to the person. We'll get our gun and our wrench. We'll hit OK. We'll go into our inventory. We'll go into our items. We'll go to our weapons. We'll find our gun. We'll go into our armor. We'll find our wrench. And we'll be like, yes, we got our armor. We got our weapon. We are good to go. Let's equip it onto our actor. So we'll go to equip. We'll equip it onto our actor. So we'll do equip weapon. And it's, it's not there. We go to equip, say, our accessory. We can equip the wrench. And as you can see, removing it, we're in, so when we highlight it, it says we're going to gain 100 defense right here. So we can equip it. If we try to remove it, we're going to go back to little 46 defense, which means nothing. But let's focus on something for a second. When we go to sword, we can't equip the gun for whatever reason. And that's because weapons are set into groups. And these groups define whether or not an actor can equip this weapon. So let's, what am I talking about? Let's go back to the actors and find out. So if we go back to our actors or our classes for this example, we can make it so a certain actor or class can use a certain weapon. So if we go over here, we'll see this actor, I mean this class, hero, can equip a sword, a general armor, light armor, and a small shield. Since wrench fell into light armor section, that meant that our actor right here, are could equip the wrench. But this class hero can't equip, say, a weapon that is a gun. So they can't equip the weapon gun thingy, unless we make it so they can. And to do so, <laughs> I guess what we have to do. We have to go all the way to this equip section right here. We make so equip weapon gun. And now I make it so 
this class, the hero class, can equip gun weapons. So now back in the game, if we go to equipped once again and go to our protagonist, go to equipped, we'll find that hey, now we can equip one of these guns. It'll increase our attack by 10, we'll equip it and we'll say hey, now we have a gun. Yeah! And for the most part, that's really all there is for weapons and armors. Just make it so you have certain weapons, certain armors, make it so certain classes can or cannot equip these weapons or armors to make it so there's certain limits or not limits at all. Perhaps you want to go down to the types and make so there's only one type of armor, one type of weapon, and every actor can equip this weapon or armor, so you don't have to worry about having all these crazy different limits and confusionness in your game. On the other hand, you can make so there's a hundred types of weapons, hundred types of armors, hundred types of equipment types, and then use them to manipulate everything and make it so it's impossible to get anything. And it's up to you what you're going to do in your game. And that's all for this tutorial. I, I guess that's really it, so like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial, end.